What's going on, Gears of War fans? On of Entertainment Gaming here, Alex Animal Seven presenting Gears of War Three Team Deathmatch. And today, guys, I will be talking about Gears of War Judgment. Now, pretty much, guys, Gears of War Judgment has been confirmed to take place before the first three original Gears of War games, uh, 14 years before the very first game. So, uh, pretty much, guys, in the uh, teaser trailer, we all saw Baird uh, in handcuffs. And uh, nobody knew what the hell was going on and whatnot. So in the follow-up trailer, uh, there was, uh, from what it seemed to be like a judge, uh, announced uh, Baird, the leader of a newly introduced Kilo squad, a squad consisting of Cole, a female character, and Baird, basically under hot water. What they did, nobody knows, and we're going to find out in the game. Now, guys, the game will drop March 19th, 2013, and the game introduces... Uh, a lot of new physics, a lot of new di uh, dynamics, including um, some new game modes such as free for all and overrun, along with a uh, bunch of new weapons and gadgets. Now, guys, uh, in the trailers, you were able to see, uh, you know, Baird or whoever you're playing as online hide behind cover and then just uh, automatically throwing grenades over the uh, the barricade or whatnot. So that's an indication that you're able to throw grenades without having to cock back and wheel them and then just having to throw them. You can just pull some Call of Duty Halo shit and just throw the grenades instantly whenever you want. Um, I believe that depending on the class you choose, you will start off with grenades. Um, but that all depends on the classes. They have introduced a class mode uh, similar to uh, Battlefield and Halo 4. So uh, just we're, we're going to be looking to see what they got going on there. And it looks like every class is going to be a power class because we've seen classes that have... The boom shot. We've seen classes that had the uh, you know torque bow. Um, there are a new few weapons and gadgets that, are, that have been introduced in this game. Uh, one of them being a semi-automatic sniper rifle. And sadly enough, there is no image or video proof of you being able to zoom in on this sniper rifle. But surely you you will see it in action. You saw it in action in the trailer, and it looks pretty darn beast. It's like a one-shot kill for anything. Um, just overall, just something great. Uh, is it going to be a sniper rifle that you can zoom in on? I hope so, because that will make no sense if you're going to have a sniper rifle that's not able to zoom in. Um, they brought back some Gears of War 1 weapons as well, with a lot of Gears of War 1 dynamics, including for most of you snipers out there. Uh, they have fixed the sniping system, so they brought it back to Gears of War 1. Um, just the overall power of the shotgun, they changed that as well. The only thing that's going to stay uh, the same, basically, is the Retro Lancer. The Retro Lancer is still going to become, you know, this juggernaut of a weapon. It's still going to be more more powerful than any other weapon, probably, that, that involves a Lancer, Hammer Burst, or Shotgun. Because uh, you can have the most horrible aim in the world. If you just aim that in the right direction, you will be able to get a couple of kills. Um, <clears throat> This game... Honestly, I don't know what to say because uh, I haven't really looked too much into it, but it looks kind of disappointing for me because I want to know more, I want to see more, and I, I, like, I like the fact that it's a prequel, but it, it would have been a lot better if they were to stick with their roots and just focus on a Gears of War 4, maybe for the Xbox 720 if anything like that. Um, there's still a lot of questions that haven't been answered. Um, Gears of War 3 was a great closing game for the trilogy, but now, you know, <clears throat> you can never say die in uh, the gaming world. I mean, look what happened with Halo. Look what happened with freaking Call of Duty. Look what happened with uh, God of War. You know what I mean? Metal Gear. You, you can never say die in this organization. So, uh, it would have been pretty cool if they started up a new series, Gears of War 4, 5, and 6 or something like that, and then have that incorporate, you know, the, uh, the after effects of 3. Uh, you know, there could be like a, a new enemy on the rise. It, actually, it could be the Locust in a sense because uh, they have introduced the Queen and you killed the Queen, which is really pathetic in my book. Um, but what's a Queen without a King, folks? You know what I mean? If there was a King Locust, like the King of the Army, that would be spectacular. You know what I mean? You can, you can, uh, the King of the Locust would be something like General Ram and Scourge combined. You know what I mean? Times a hundred. That that's how that's how I would depict a a, a king for the locust. Um, <clears throat> in the story, the, st the story mode for Gears of War Judgment is basically going to be revolving around Kilo Squad, and uh, just pretty much you're going to have to get down and dirty and find out what the hell is going on. Um, there are new maps. They showed off new maps such as a, a map called Library, and uh, it's actually pretty you know asymmetrical. It's it's, it's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um. 
they have released some of the classes as well guys so you know these are the classes that you're able to choose from in multiplayer if you guys want to just go at it with somebody else now the first class is an engineer for example you can have any character I'm gonna, I'm gonna name Baird for example the engineer class contains the Nasher and the blowtorch which repairs damaged uh, fortifications if you uh, need to repair them the special abilities are you're able to have a sentry turret now the second class is soldier the weapons are a lancer and a boom shot and the special abilities are deploying ammo crates the third class is a medic which com which contains a uh, lancer and snub nose pistol uh, the special abilities are stim gas grenades to revive allies uh, and finally the last class is scout which contains a long shot and snub and the special abilities are beacon grenades now um it's, it's gonna be really interesting because the setting for Gears of War Judgment is sent in a you know it's set in some sort of a bay uh, where the Onyx Guards Academy is located so that's pretty interesting in and of itself but is it gonna be good I mean hey nobody knows we're just gonna have to wait and find out um they have released <clears throat> they have released some a uh, some enemies as well and this is what kind of this, this doesn't make any sense to me because um, in Gears of War 1 they didn't incorporate these enemies so why do it in a prequel that makes no sense but uh, some of the enemies that are gonna be in this game are the following the locust drones the locust scouts the locust snipers the locust grenaders the theron guards the theron guards sentinel the unknown theron the unmasked theron uh, the krill boomers cedar the uh, berserkers wretches dark wretches Reavers, Corpsers, and of course our favorites, General Ram and the Locust Queen. Now, a lot of people might be wondering, well, why the hell are some of these, you know, characters in, in the game? Um, th yeah, it's, it's just weird. I, you know, they, they, I, I didn't, I don't think they had Reavers in the first one. I mean, I don't know. Oh, and also Cantuses and Dark Cantuses. Now, that's another thing. Like, why would you add Cantuses if, you know, they never really existed in the uh, first game, you know what I mean? But, uh, you know, so far there are no new weapons that have been confirmed besides the uh, automatic sniper rifle. However, there's been many pictures and videos of gameplay having to show off a few new weapons and adjustments on, you know, and on previous weapons. But for one, uh, there's a change on the boom shield, which has been shown in the multiplayer gameplay for the, for the actual game. And which the boom shield actually, you know, spinning as a blender, sort of say, and cutting enemies in half. It's also when you're able to spin the boom shield, it's actually supposed to repel the bullets away, and it's supposed to hit the other guy. So, but that's it for today. I'm Unveiled and Hammer Gaming. Everybody signing off. If you're a Gears of War fan, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all the latest Gears of War news, information, and updates. If you found this video entertaining and informative, please leave a like. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below, everybody. On that note, let me know what you guys think about Gears of War Judgment in the comment section below. Uh, happy holidays, everybody. I hope you all enjoy, and I hope I will be seeing you all on Gears of War Judgment. And let's all hope and pray that Gears of War Judgment will be a good game. Alright, everybody. Take care. Peace.